Good evening, everyone. And welcome to Midnight's in Metro Manila. I am Danger Garland as the storyteller. And here we have our colorful cast of characters. I am known as Andrea Bell, played by Dandy. I'm Goyo, as played by Matt Gador. I am Soma, as played by Raph de los Reyes. You're muted. You're muted. I'm Enrique Escobar, as played by Louis. And I am Victoria, as played by Reno. You might be wondering why everyone looks a little different. Well, the year is 1987. Philippines had just freshly escaped from the clutches of martial law. Many of our coterie were a lot younger, a lot younger than they were. Different people entirely, in fact. On a night like this, tell me, what would Victoria be up to? Currently in a three-day vendor, partying it up with the other young Ventures, young Toreadors, maybe some Tremere here and there. Pretty sure I got this from a Tremere. If there's a Tremere out there who lost their glasses, I have it. You're not getting it back. And on a night like this, what would Goyo be doing? Probably uh, with my sire training or... Uh learning some stuff, uh, going around, uh, you know, usual investigation stuff, but uh, not quite as experienced and uh, still a little uh, shaken from the events of, uh, still a little shaken from the events of the martial law right now. What about the person formerly known as Andrea Bell? I would be laying low. I've just recently escaped my sire and the Camarilla, and I torched my old workshop and would like them to believe that I am dead. And so I'm feeding by cruising in spots I did not before and sticking near the Baroness who has so kindly taken me in. Soma would be a new kindred. In fact, just days old. Tonight, the, ba the Baroness, your sire, Allah, is teaching you how to channel the powers of the Vitae. You're having some difficulty. After all, what would Soma be like when it comes to feeding? Would he would he be hesitant? Would he be would he not want to drink blood at all? The as far as I heard before in the movies that I've seen about that, I mean, kindred, it all involved killing, and I'm very much against that. So I need to, I'm trying to figure out a way to like get, get blood in a, well, in a more ethical way. It's hard, though. So as of now, I'm still trying be, to get uh, used to the idea. Oh, I'm still trying supported to supported by the Baroness, They're provided with bags until you figure out how you want to hunt, how you want to drink. Okay, cool. At least. Are these people still alive? Uh, alive, she says. 
Hmm. Alive, I would say, in a different way. After all, kindred still need to feed. <laughs> but our blood, our nature is different. One thing you'll real realize about kindred is once they are embraced, once they are turned, the qualities that make them human are enhanced, are taken to another degree. Now that you mentioned that, I have started noticing that my guitar has been out of tune this whole time. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's punk music. I don't really care. <laughs> Is it even music then? We haven't... Uh, it's expression. It's pure... It's pure emotion. You probably want to understand it. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> sure Tonight, thing, Fledgling. What would Enrique be doing on a night like this? Uh, Enrique would be performing his duties as sheriff of Metro Manila. Perhaps looking around the clubs, the bars, hanging out and seeing which lick dares breach the masquerade. Tonight, after training, after Soma's training, the Baroness calls on everyone for Victoria, uh, Right before you leave and you head to the next club, you get a phone call from your landline. And the answering machine picks up. You don't answer. You don't get to it in time. Victoria, I know you're there. It's the sound of, of the Baroness. You know what we talked about. You're coming to the court tonight. I'm ignoring that call. I really have to. All right. I'll see you. Uh. Oh, uh, God. With Goyo, you're sitting next to your sire when she says, I don't really feel like going to court tonight. What's happening at court tonight? I don't... Uh, I don't know. It's usually, you know, the same things. And we're, we're going to have to report on our activities. On our activities getting the refugees back in. Um, I, I could go if you don't want to go. You read my mind. No. Yes, I'm developing powers faster than I thought. She flicks you on the forehead. Since when did you learn to take that tone with me? Since I started listening to punk music uh, this 80s music this 80s music it's either to boop boop beep beep boop 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 or dun, 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 dun. and it's all too loud for me I'm just uh, it already sounds like that in my head and oh my well now you you know what the, you know that we're doing good work, right? I know I've noticed you're, you've been a little quiet lately, and just a little floopy. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A, I guess. Um. Uh. 
past few years have been a little rough on the uh, on the psyche, you know. It's uh, a lot of stuff happened. I'm not. <laughs> I'm still really young, so got a lot handed to me on a in a few short years. But uh, you know, I'll I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I promise. Don't let the John 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 get to you, okay? Sure, mom. It's sure. so funny because when 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 Jazz came to the Philippines, uh, I, I I I my own sire had the same opinion. Jazz to 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 her sounded like plink plunk, plink plunk, and now it's jang 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 jang, boop 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 beep boop boop. Yeah, well, we gotta keep up, or we gotta get left behind. You know? <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Have you had any visions lately? All right. Uh, not. <laughs> hmm. Nothing uh, too concerning mm. something about a a child but nothing really clear I don't really know much a child huh. yeah Curious. do you know if there are any recent childer well I heard the Baroness was introducing her new childer at today's court session, meeting, thing, whatever. That's what's happening. All right. Okay. I'll uh, I'll go to the meeting and I'll uh, I'll fill in for you. Sign the attendance or whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Sure thing, well, Ma. Bye bye. <sighs> uh, Enrique. It's just you and Tala in our in the office at the moment. I'm a little nervous. Enrique. About what? Well, I never thought that I would pass this out down to anybody. Pass my, pass the blood down, embrace somebody. I never thought I would. You remember, right? I was so against it. What was it like? What was it like for you when you became a sire, like or parent? It was different. It was. It needed to be done. My blood is different from yours. Ventru are not randomly embraced. They are selectively chosen. This one I had my eye on for years. Many years. Long, long time ago. But we all know how that ended, don't we? I do miss him too.
Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. It's, it's fine. Your new child, or what was his name again? Sami. to be called Soma. But that's not his... You, you know how ki new kindred are. They insist on their new names. Foolish. Hey, you, a you asked to be called Maniko when you first got made. We, we don't talk about those days, all right? We... Those days are long, long gone. That they are. God, that was what? Over 150 years ago? Lifetimes ago. Yeah. Just look at you now. He approaches her, uh, perhaps uh, kind of pats her on the shoulder. Having your own child and whatnot. I'm worried. After, after the madam, it was just, you know, you I mean you were there? You know how bad it was. Yeah. Our kind were disappearing left and right. Even the kind were disappearing left and right. Nobody was safe. all because of her yeah like fucking bitch I'll toast to that <laughs> she holds up her hand like there's a glass and just he, he mimics her giving her a weak smile but there's a sort of resentment in his eyes what's on your mind because of her I lost I lost him because of that Camarilla fucking bitch that rose needs to be plucked out from the fucking ground and crushed a hundred times over I wish we could chase her down to be honest yeah. How the fuck did she get to Hawaii so fast? Must have been her contacts. Must have been her allies that she escaped from our grasp. That fat general. I don't want to sour the mood, but I. when we find her, I will rip her fucking throat out and serve it on a silver platter her head to the rest of the Camarilla fucks. My childer. My only childer that she took away from me. I hope your childer does not meet the same fate. I really do. Back to Soma and Andrea. Oh, it's you again. I'll be here. You have to get used to it. <sighs> and, how, and how has your last few nights been? I'm craving for some pizza, but... Pizza. Will you... I wouldn't recommend having pizza. Why? It's just a bad idea. Okay. Whatever you say. 
As if I, I, would I really do... wouldn't do it if I were you. Well, <laughs> you and I, we're, we're, we're nothing alike. I know where you come from, all right? I know where you come from. And Don't do it. And I just turn away as like, I just try to ignore them as much as I can. Like, this is not what I signed up for. I didn't, I, I figured I wouldn't be, uh, I actually say this aloud, like, I didn't sign up for sharing a fucking room with a crony like you. Well, now you're the child of the leader of all of Metro Manila, so not sure who the crony is here. I hate you. And then I just like, and then I just like, uh, I just walk out like that. I look for the nearest like door. Like, I just want to get the fuck out of this room. <laughs> I'm happy to have the room to myself now. These walls are all you're going to have for a while. And then I just leave. Hmm. Huh. I read a magazine. I, on the other hand, um, try to... I'm, I'm like feeling a little bit flustered so i try to smoke a cigarette but i realize I, I guess it's doing nothing to me at this point <laughs> this is so fucking sad <laughs> <sighs> and then i just like i toss it and then i kill it with my foot damn it Where's, how, how long until this meeting? I just like mutter that to myself. About an, uh, an hour and a half. Hmm. Around what time is it, time is it in the night actually? It would be around 8 PM. In that case, um, I'm going to go outside do some like people watching i guess <laughs> since now is like pretty much the only time i can go out i need some fresh air so you're in the wrong city for fresh air not that you need to breathe it i wasn't talking to you <sighs> Victoria, what would you be doing? Mm, well, I'd probably just woken up and peeling myself off in the tangle of arms of the men and women around me, like, oh, sh and then grabbing a random shirt from some guy, putting it on. Freaking glasses or this. I think I drank somebody with more than one sub substance. Oh, I need fresh air. Probably trying to run out of trying to run out of the club. Or whatever it is, because I'm currently like feeling all the effects all at once. Once I woke up. Oh. God, so many things. Danger. Time passes. Who heads immediately to the meeting? I mean, Enrique is already there, but uh, Goya, do you get there early on time? What do you do? Um, as soon as uh, 
my sire and I are done for the night and she sends me off, I just make my way. Um, as a, uh, as a rebellious as I like to pretend to be, I am a, I am an obedient child. And what about Soma and Andrea? I take a cab mm. and try to make good time. For me, um, I'm just going to, you know, just, you know, like, just re- not, re- re- like make my way there, just walking around taking in the city as I go. Imagining what it would be like to be out in the sun, actually. The city is like very colorful. It's full of neon. But I can't help but wonder what it would look like, say, if it were like 7 a.m. And I just, you know, I'm... I'm on my way home feeling like there's a a little bit of a halo around around my head that's the sunrise for me and wondering if I'll ever get to feel that feeling again cars are noisy as fuck though this is why I like walking Metro Manila in 1987 it's vastly different from the Metro Manila you've known for the last 20-something years. Mm. There's no more curfew. No more Philippine constabulary walking the streets looking for people to beat up, arrest, and kill. People are enjoying the nightlife for the first time in a long time. And the city is ablaze with lights and sounds and loud music and life this is the most alive you've probably seen it in decades and it's something else so beautiful can i actually cry like just like a a tear or it would be blood one thing that you might discover right now. Jesus. Oh, fuck. That's gnarly shit, though. What the f- <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like I feel like, like seeing that, like, am I am I am I tripping or something? Or <laughs> is this real? <laughs> Oh God. <sighs> and you know, I just keep on uh, exploring. Uh, I try to see. Uh, I follow the loud music, actually. I follow the loud music. See where that takes me. It's a dance club. Hmm. The sounds of uh, the Apple Hiking Society and Hot Dog are playing distinctly in the background. And, At uh, least it's, yeah. people are having fun. They're just enjoying themselves. It's kind of bittersweet for me. It's like, how could people forget so soon? And that kind of makes me like, I kind of get a bit pissed off and then it just like, just go straight to the meeting. I'm... All this new wave and coming of age movies. It's disgusting how everybody forgets so soon. That's, yeah. Does Vic- what time does Victoria go there? Very late. <laughs> oh, okay. Very late. <laughs> so, you are asked to take seats in the auditorium it looks vastly different from it does in present day 
it looks more like a courtroom, in fact. Uh, there, there's the audience around where you will probably s- sit while the Baroness's seat sits in the middle like a throne. It's odd, but uh, you suppose it's born out of tradition. The Baroness is already seated on it rather uncomfortably. The, the throne is large and she is tiny. She's five feet tall. And uh, Enrique Escolar at her side, scribbling away at some little clipboard with his expensive pen. And shades in the middle of the night. Uh, you notice that the outfits are quite colorful. This is the most colorful group you've seen in a while, Goyo. Different styles, like everything here is uh, 80s fashion taken a step further. Even Charles is in a Hawaiian polo shirt. What do you th- what do you all think about once you enter? <coughs> Who is that tool wearing shades indoors? What I'm thinking is, oh my god, why is she dating that narc? And also, who brought the '60s back? <laughs> so colorful and then I'm I thinking... find my seat oh sorry I'm thinking I miss the refinement of the old court but only that describe what the old court would look like in place of this They had, well, the madam with her big old butterfly sleeves and expensive shoes and jewelry. It was a, it was an event. It was always a a place to be seen. And I was responsible for many of the outfits in the court. And while the a lot of the sensibilities were old-fashioned and conservative, mm, it, they had class. Here, it's just... Well, they're certainly using their freedom of expression. Soma sees the silver for the first time. In fact, this is the first time Soma sees a Nosferatu. The silver is dressed like a homeless person, but she sits at a seat of honor in the court. She looks terrifying. How does he react? That's so fucking punk. I love it. <laughs> and and then I just think back to like um, that one David Lynch movie, or was, was that David Lynch? I just think back to that. Uh, I just think of the Elephant Man at this point. And that's actually an accurate way to describe the silver a little bit. The elephant plan. You do notice something uh, strange about this court. The moment you enter, Soma, and Andrea, all eyes seem to be on you. And people start whispering. Can I hear what they're whispering? Uh, that would be 
Oh god, okay. Uh, let's say <coughs> wits and awareness. Okay. Wait, hold on. My Wait, hold on. My computer's like being weird right now. But you guys can still hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Um Damn it. Wait. <laughs> I have to <laughs> I have to load my sheet. Because <laughs> I actually thought we weren't going to be using our sheets at this point. Okay. Well... Ah, newborn. I am trying to maintain my composure, my... Mm, appear calm and collected. But I am also trying to listen... I'm looking around the room and trying to gauge people's reactions to both of us. You notice the silver is staring right at you, Andrew. Not a care in the world about Soma, but everyone seems to be talking about Soma, except the silver is just staring right at you. Soma is the Baroness's child. The first one, after a long time, for as long as they've known her. And they're curious as to what set this particular human apart that the Baroness would elevate him. As for your insight role, uh, Andrea, You sense suspicion in the silver. For uh, Soma, you don't exactly hear what they're saying. You hear your name spoken every so often, whispered, but that's about it. You can't discern the whispers. This is uncomfortable. I just try to find a seed. Uh, you sit uh, in a, there's a place specifically for the Baroness's entourage. Okay. So that's where you would sit. The Escolar also sits in that place. But, uh, yeah, you find yourself seated next to the, the man in shades, whom you have seen every once in a while. Uh, once in a while, talking to the Baroness at her home. And then, yeah. Hmm. Which slum did you come from, kid? Your ass. At least it's privileged. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <Okay>. <sighs> What are you and you know? Never mind. Mm. Why are you wearing? Why are you wearing shades? Why are you wearing lipstick? <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> he kind of just yeah. starts writing down stuff on his clipboard again. Nark. <laughs> Street rat. Goya, you do not yet sit in the elevated place of honor. You sit in a different section reserved for the Malkavians. You notice this was fashioned after a Camarilla court, uh, Enrique. Does you know that it was just an attempt to mimic old systems to try and gain some fa functionality among the Anarchs. Court now begins. And 
each of the uh, each of the they're not governors yet that system had not been devised like they're not governors in that sense they're called uh, rulers as of this time would be the ruler of Makati and you all answer to the Baroness there are no clear delineations of territory yet either just concepts I rule this area that's what this Baroness this governor would say or this ruler would say and they give reports on 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 updates in their territory about how they are handling the last of the Camarilla still in Metro Manila. Uh, suspected uh, splinter cells, stuff like that. Uh, ben True and Toriador in particular are talking about uh, their infiltration of high society, their re-infiltration of high society. And And the Nosferatu, who seem almost unwelcome in this court, like people try to keep their distance, are reporting on how it has affected the, the more impoverished of uh, Metro Manila and what they're doing about it. And you notice the. W- as you and the Baroness uh, administer to the court, the doors slam open and Victoria walks in. Stumbles in. Jeez. <sighs> as as he breaks the silence. Uh, it, yeah, it, it results in up. an awkward and yeah, just like an awkward silence where everyone just turns and looks you notice some of the kindred are just actually drawing weapons, surprised by the slamming of doors, slamming open of doors, and it's just. This... I mean, I know I'm pretty, but you guys don't have to stare at me. <laughs> like, uh, how late am I? Enrique immediately shuffles over that direction to oh. perhaps grab her and put her in in place, hey. as she's now making a ruckus hey, at hey, hey, or this meeting. Oh, oh. And I tried to shrug him off. Sit your ass down, party girl. Oh. This is a meeting. I can walk. Barely, but yeah, you can walk. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Are you intoxicated? I have drunk some, some human. You've come to our meeting. Intoxicated. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, have what she, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> I'll show you later, kid. Oh, you're new. Hi! I'm Victoria. Soma, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Both of you, like, shut the fuck up. The I'm Baroness started. is speaking. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> he She's would just grab her, her by the shoulder. Like this at you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shut your trap. Oh my god. Franzi thinks to themselves, or sorry, Andrea Bell thinks to themselves, hmm, this wouldn't have happened at the last court. Yes. Uh, describe what would happen at the last court, please. Such a show of disrespect and lack of. Um, Grace would have her thrown out of the court or worse. Yes. After all the administrative concerns are are finished, uh, the Baroness announce makes an announcement. I know you all been curious as to as to my recent decision to embrace someone so with no further ado I'd like to introduce my new childer Soma what's up how's everybody doing Uh, 
What? Thank you. Um, it's nice to meet you all, and I'm I'm honestly not that that good at public speaking, but yeah, you you what guys seem like what Bruja is. <laughs> it is Charles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'm glad I could be uh, working along with you guys. We can make, you know, we can make uh, at least this world that we're living in a, a better place, I guess, for all of us. And I just like sit down because like I don't have no idea what else to say, <laughs> honestly. And the Baroness just beams at you before she gets to the final order of business. Mm. It has been hours, a few boring hours, really. Like, Enrique has probably shushed you all a few times. Mm. And. Not me. Probably me. Unless I'm <laughs> retorting, and unless I'm shushing Soma. Putting two shoes. I have silence of death, so no one can hear me. <laughs> and I calm look at him. Looks up Goyo. Ugly. I'd like to ask you how your efforts with with the refugees and the former detainees are going. Um well uh and then he uh, he he sits up straight, and then uh, uh, fixes his uh, his coat, and uh, tries to appear um, proper and everything. And he uh, well, our efforts are uh, good. We are uh, we are finding more and more people. Um, we are still um, looking hard for. Uh, the invasive uh, creatures that the madam has brought in uh, from other uh, from other regions, was a such as a yeah, um, it's a you know you would think that tikbalangs and tentors would get along, but they really don't. Um, anyway, uh, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a big uh, struggle. It's a, it's a big. Uh, territory struggle right now and uh we're trying to get them out of here as fast as we can um that's it for the uh the creatures as for the kind we're having a hard time locating all of the desaparecidos or the uh the disappeared that uh that the madam has put away a large number uh, have been found returned to their families or have chosen to join the court but uh, others are still in a heavily guarded uh, uh, secret uh, we, we don't know where they are just yet but we are uh, close to discovering where the desaparecidas are the, the rest of them anyway which brings me to this endeavor that I had been thinking of for a while she motions she motions uh, behind her and the door opens and out walks an erudite looking Tikpala whoa sick what the fuck is that Tikpala stands up. those who don't know is a Philippine mythological creature with the body of a man and the head of a horse. Uh, wow. And it's like a reverse center. Centaur. What the How yeah. do you say it in English? Centaur. You notice that his leg is broken, which would normally mean death for one of his kind. And he limps and uses a crutch came to walk and the, the thick balance says I would like to thank Baroness Tala for welcoming me and allowing me to speak at your court today
when the madam came into power, my kind were pushed to the hills, to the mountains, into the forests, driven out of our own lands at her or by her orders. And it was not just my race, the Duende and the other Aswang were also pushed away. And I have come here now to ask your assistance. My kind have been displaced. And though it pains the rest of us to ask permission to enter that which was ours, to re-enter that which was ours, I must ask that you grant us asylum. in this place where we once lived. You see murmurs around you. Well, it seems agreeable. Uh, some, I would like uh, all of you to roll wits and awareness except for Enrique who would not be doing that. Or Victoria who would be... I'm too, I'm, too, I'm too drunk for this, sorry. Can I roll insight? Sure. This is just trippy. Oh no, no, no. This like, is okay. aware. Uh, are you rolling insight on the Tikbalang or are you rolling in awareness on the people around you? I mean, you asked us to roll. What is the roll for? Well, uh, it's awareness to determine what the people around are saying. Insight if you want to read the Tikbalang. <laughs> I want to know what the people around are saying. It's the first time I've seen something like that. I was sick. Were you born uh, like everything... that? Was he born like that? What do you think? Uh, yes, they are born like that. I don't think e- I... Eric is reading the mad, uh, not mad, the uh, Baroness at this point. He's just looking at her, studying her every word and reaction to this. For all tikbalang. those of two successes and above, you notice. Know some of the kindred are like, what? They should go to the jungles. They live in the jungles. Why would they want to be here? <laughs> they and don't the fit others... in society. <laughs> Look at them. And they're... <laughs> and some of them are like... Uh, have never thought of the other creatures before. Like, they've never... Some of them have never encountered one. And uh, but they so, and they don't know where they stand on welcoming the Tikbalang and the other Aswan back into Metro Manila, and some of them are uh, uh, the Nosferatu and the Gango, for example, are quite open to sharing their their living spaces with other creatures, so long as you know a piece is kept. And the Baroness. Stands for the first time tonight. It is my will and judgment that the creatures with which we share this world must be welcomed back. They must. Hell yeah. Wow. I'm sorry. Wow. She's surprised at sudden, Enrique's sudden outburst. You, you're saying we're, you're going to let them come into the city. Why the hell not? Look at Shut them. the fuck up, Kendry. Look at them, though. Both of you licks. Ugh. I'm not talking to you. Oh. That's so much in my head. Why? Because they were here long before we were. Long before any of us were. They have a rightful claim to these lands. At least to share with us. (laughs) 
So you're saying that you're just gonna let them stay here and take over? Not to That's take what over. I'm... Live in harmony. As per the report of that Malkavian earlier, they can barely keep harmony with themselves. I'm sorry, I think you misunderstood my report. I like this guy. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Enrique, you are okay, insulted are by the crazy. sudden interruption by Goyo, but he, you continue. He, but he insists. Uh, he continues. Listen, for the longest time, my sire and I, and all of her progeny, we have been keeping the peace between the kindred and all the other creatures in this land. Okay, and how's that going for you? Well, ever since the Camarilla came and fucked things up, hasn't been really easy. But I can promise you that if we usher this back in peacefully, then we can maintain this peace. And we will do our best to do so. What proof? Do you have that they will keep their word and they will not do anything against us they view us as colonizers they took that took over their land well they kind of have a point for one but another on the if things do get out of hand well that's where we come in you know we're not just we're not just a bunch of crazy Malkavians, okay? We've been doing this for it for a while. All right? We we know how to we know how to talk to these creatures. We know what they need and we know how to get them out and if need be, we know how to fight them if it gets to that. I see your hand is raised, the Baroness points at what is it you wish to say? Thank you, Baroness. Um, <laughs> I just have a question for the, um, what is your name, sir? Dick Balang? Your, ma- your mouths would not, be, would not be able to pronounce it. I shall call you... But Sir Tick Balang, then. Many call me... Unless? Bohako. Mr. Bohako. <laughs> you are aware, I'm sure, that we have a masquerade to keep. I'm just wondering how you and your people intend to keep it, and what means you have to do so within the city. Yeah, you can't really walk around looking like that, sir. He waves his hand and you notice that a sort of glamour appears around him. Now, as kindred, you can see through this glamour perfectly. But any human would not unless they have the sight. The glamour now appears, makes him appear like an old man. Of course, you can still see the horse head, but uh, yeah. Would anyone, would any of the kindred Take. be able to see this? I assume only those with sense the unseen would be able to. A kindred might be able to see it, but if they have sense the unseen, they definitely see through it. Okay. I'm guessing I don't see through it, so I was like, oh. We live in the the jungles and the forests. That's cool. We live in the plains in between. We will keep the peace. We only wish to return to our homes. Thank you. This is the least of what they can do. Trust me. Well, thank you for clearing that up, sir. I'll allow the others to ask their questions. I know you exchange in favors. 
Here is something we can do. He limps and on his crutch to the window. And you, he opens the curtains awkwardly. And he touches his hand to the glass. And suddenly you see outside the clouds begin to move and cover the moon. Whoa. <laughs> Bathing Metro Manila in darkness. Wow. That's an awesome party trick. Mm. And you see this tires him out. Oh. And that is the power of only one of us. We can do this together and it will be better. I beseech your understanding. This is some this is some ploy. I I stand up again. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> these creatures of the night have been stalking the shadows, staying hidden for just as long as any of us have. They have just as much right and just as much ability to do so as any of us okay we, we like i said mr bohaku here it's just it's just the scratching the surface of everything that these creatures can do and this is just one creature there are so many more and they can do so much i promise they're <laughs> Sorry. There can be peace between us. Sorry. Can I speak? I, I don't, don't know. Can I you? don't even wait. Like, just stand up. Like, sorry, what's your name? Bohako. Me? No, not you. The the crazy Malkavian over there. I'm not crazy. Uh... Malkavian daughter. I'm Goyo. Goyo. What the fucking name? Anyway... <laughs> How do you ensure that the they take balang? How do you take balangs? Don't suddenly start, you know, attacking us and stuff using their own power against us. What happens when one day they revolt? <laughs> they decide to take the city back. Yeah, he gets it. He, he gets it. <laughs> you know well and well how much they can do things. You've seen it in action, yes. We have all have. Uh, no. This is one of them. What if he's? What if one day, uh, one of his brethren decide to change things around? There's always that one rebellious species or kid that decides that they're better than anyone else, and they lead their whole flock against us. That's where you come in, right? Sheriff Enrique, this is the Baroness. Your assumptions are far-reaching. They are not like us. They have no desire or bids for power like you. Or you mean like the Ventru? You got a problem with my clan? Funny, coming from the Baroness who's taken control of the city. Watch yourself, Enrique. You're gonna. Oh, wait a minute. I see now. I see now why you're desperate to make an alliance with them. I thought you and I. I thought we could. <laughs> I see. What is happening? I don't see either. I don't know. So you wanna make an alliance with them so you can have more control over it. I get it. Yeah. Oh, this geez. is your path. <laughs> Kid, they're like, don't bother. Like, I turned Shut the off. fuck up, Kindred! Jeez! Calm down! Seriously. I'm going to lob your head off if you don't get your drunk ass Do in control. Do not threaten my ward, Enrique. But do shut the fuck up right now, Victoria.
unlike you. I have no need for more power. Control the beast within you, Escolar. Control the beast within me. <laughs> you have all of these beasts to control in front of you. You have to. You're worried about me. Should they decide to revolt one day, what are you going to do, Baroness? Handle it. What are you going to do against them? You've heard what they can do. You've seen it. That's just one elderly crippled. Do not insult my guest. You've lost your way. With in less than a second. The Baroness is in front of you. You've never seen anyone or anything move as fast. You notice in her wake, in the steps she took to get from her chair to where Enrique is, her footprints have broken the tiles on the floor, leaving holes where there were once where there was once marble. She is small, smaller than Enrique, like almost a foot shorter than Enrique. And yet she is in his face immediately. If this is your way of getting back at them, I don't want to be a part of it. You're going to use the same tactic they did against our own kind. She rips off the brooch of the sheriff from your chest and throws it behind her. There's now a hole in your shirt and the brooch shatters on impact on the wall. Enrico Escolar, I strip you of your title as sheriff of Metro Manila. You will leave my court now or you will suffer the true death. Threaten me in front of all of your beasts. I'm sure that'll go well for you. He just turns around and she is walking away. Tiny woman fuming in fury and you notice this angry tear of blood roll down her cheek and she's just panting before he steps out of this Elysium he would turn to the rest of the kindred and say remember this day the day you decided to let these beasts in For Keep up or get left behind, old man. They will come back to haunt all of you this moment. I mean, I kind of understand where he's coming from, but uh, why no? Too much. Can you understand anything? You're drunk off your ass. I don't know. Can you? You're a bit crazy. You notice this I'm time. Not crazy. You notice this time, uh, the Baroness, in her fury, screams, Quiet! And it's unlike anything you've ever heard before. It frightens everyone in the room. She speaks with the growl of the beast within her, and it changes her voice into something menacing and terrifying. You see the, the veins pulse on her face as the vitae flows through her veins and she mutters under her breath but everyone hears it as it echoes deep reverberates deep in the room does anyone else have ex- uh, have any problems no. 
Goya takes a seat and is um, trying to hold back a bout of PTSD slash uh, anxiety attack from that scream. Now, out of my sight, all of you! She yells at the rest of the court. Except for you four. She points at Victor and she gestures at G- Victoria, Soma, uh, Andre, and Goyo. Everyone rushes out of the room, frightened. Mm-hmm. Even Victoria, in your stupor, you are. I would say you are currently trying to mask your fear by appearing despondent and uncaring. But amidst this display, it's difficult. It's nearly impossible. Baroness, forget about that guy, you know? It, it'll be fine. Let's just... Breakup's gonna be hard. Let's just... Pretty two shoes. I think it's a good idea to be quiet. You comported yourself well tonight. Andre. And Goya. You held your own against Escolar. I'll remember that. Soma, I'm sorry you had to see that. You, Victoria, I expected better of you. You may disagree with me, but to disrespect my authority disrespect my authority in court is there anything you have to say for yourself not really Like that. Girl, come on. Mm. I'm sorry. Disrespectful? Apology? Not yet accepted. <laughs> but, as punishment, I, I will assign you and our Malkavian friend here to treat with the Aswans. Oh, and facilitate their entry. Nice. I don't know anything about Aswangs. Neither do I, but I think this is a good idea. I think this is a good way to find out. You know what? All of you will do this. Yes! <laughs> Finally! Okay. Um, oh. You mean out in the jungle? Just the borders of Metro Manila. Oh. I'm certain you have an outfit. Out in the province? Not in the province. Just the borders of Metro Manila. Wait, uh, she's she's coming. And then I... Because I don't know they're they yet, so... Uh, I, I would not be at this point. Okay. Just use whatever. Uh, 
you didn't listen to the Baroness or your sire. She said all four, four. Why does four? And I'm hand handing. Well, someone four. has to know how to conduct themselves. <laughs> Sorry, who are you again? I'm Andrea Bell. Hmm. Never heard of you. Hi. I have um, never seen you either. Have I? The Baroness has been so kind as to take me in. Actually, you would Not have. Not unlike yourself, I understand. You would have, Victoria. You would have. You would oh. have met a few times. Well, perhaps you're just too drunk to remember. Your name. Yeah, your name is not exactly easy to remember. Mm. Speaking of people who have seen me, or people I have seen, did I see the silver before? You did. You would have seen them. This is the first time you've seen the silver, in fact. Um, so, do I recognize them from the previous court? The... No. She was not welcome in the previous. Nosferatu were not welcome in Camarilla courts. Because they're ugly. They're not. Mm. They would not be welcome. Like, Gangrel. One ran by... Who are rare. Uh... Bruja, even more so. Highly unlikely in the Camarilla as well. Like, supremely unlikely in the Camarilla as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nosferatu, even more so. The oh. night ends and you are all asked to return to your homes. Return, well, of course, Soba and uh, Ajay will be driving to will be driven by the Baroness back to their back to her place. And Victoria will be stumbling back to her own place. Yeah. I can remember it. The Baroness has been changing my place every I don't know, five years, three years. Oh god, which one is it now? The Baroness actually drops you off, just drops you off at the house, Soma and Andre. Hmm. Mm. So, when will we be going to these? Um, the night after, there is a magical creatures. There is a sort of convention of the magical creatures uh, on the borders of Metro Manila. You will be there. Along, uh, mm. of course, uh, Goya's sire will be there to facilitate. But you will be in charge. This is some... Okay. You're mm. living in a house at this point, not a penthouse yet. Mm. And you've just gone there. And you notice a familiar car outside. You know, it's Tala's vehicle. She's looking at you from the outside. And you're just staring at each other from your window, not speaking. She's standing outside of her car. Tala just looks at you. Oh, uh, Enrique would, I guess in his little porch, he would just stand there and shake his head. Very, very disappointed. His eyes are saddened by the current situation.
Eventually he would take a deep, unnecessary breath and then he would ask her to come. Fine, let's, let's talk. How could you do that? I don't understand. You didn't tell me about this at all. I don't think I had to tell you anything. That's exactly it. I thought we trusted each other. I I thought I trusted you. I didn't expect that you would undermine my authority in court like that. I didn't expect you to not let me know that you were dropping a fucking bombshell on us. I mean, really? Those beasts? They are not beasts. They're more than we are. I don't, I don't get your game. There is no game. When will you get that there is no game? There's always... Like, we're kindred. It is natural for us to act in this manner. There's always an end goal. We, as ambitious creatures, we don't just ally ourselves out of the goodness of our unbeating hearts with creatures that we don't have any know of. I mean, what? You're going to ally yourself with these... What, what do they call them? Tikbalangs and Aswang. What's next? Fey? If they came to my door, yes. You'd welcome a werewolf into Metro Manila. Maybe. <laughs> Where is this coming from? Why are you... Why are you doing this? How could you think like this? We are the same huddled and exiled masses that banded together to create a fairer and better society. We are anarchs. And you... We're kindred. We're different from those things. What happened to you? What happened to the to the boy I met who was... She just teared down her face. To the boy I met Who, who asked a little dark-skinned girl like me where he could join the Katiponeros. Enrique is looking away, trying to hold back whatever he feels inside. And he's trying to keep it together, even though she's pouring her heart out. You think I've changed, but so have you. Must be the age. Must be the way our blood thinks. Not mine, Enrique. Just yours. (laughs) You're no longer that olive-skinned girl that I... No, I'm not. Everything about me has been enhanced and grown. So has my nature. This is who I've always been. I didn't take you for that soft type. You will always be strong. I was never always been soft. <laughs> That's... I was compassionate. That's where the beast changed you. That rage, unending, so wrathful. You tell me to take control of myself, but you are barely keeping it together. I see right through you. I know you better than any other fucking kindred in this town. You're crumbling inside.
That's the thing, Alika. I still embrace my humanity. While you let go of yours, We've been, we've been through this song and dance, all a hundred years of it. We both know how this is going to play out. Maybe it's the right thing to do. Rip my duties off of my shoulder. And leave me by myself to vie for power. That's how you see me, yeah? That's how I should have seen you. Sure. sure. Bye, Enrique. I promise you one thing, however. One thing. If you will promise me the same. What? Protect my wards. Protect my child there. And I will find those who killed Isagani. Okay, bites his lip, holding back his tears and barely, barely maintaining composure. do it for you only and do it for him I understand I'll protect you your ward and watch over them guide them if need be and you you be careful out there you're gonna make a lot of enemies. I already have. And I will take comfort in the fact that you are not one of them. She leans in for a kiss, stolen, long, and assertive kiss, and then breaks off and speeds to her vehicle and drives away. Yuka's fists are kind of curled up, holding back all of his rage, his passion, all of his resentment. They're very, very conflicted right now as everything that's going on lost his position and lost the Baroness. I'd like to think that Enrique would be, would turn away from the camera at this point as he, as blood tears start streaming down his cheeks. The Baroness drives back to her place where Soma and Andre are. You notice that uh, she can't hide that there are tears on her face. Tears on her sleeves. What happened? Nothing. What did he do? Nothing. He didn't do anything. I can't hear you, Andre. You're muted. Let's put on some music. And Andre puts on a... Something the Baroness likes. Something punk. Andre doesn't like it himself, but... 
he sticks a cassette into the player. Oh, I'm not in the mood for this tonight, but I did get this new cassette. And then she sticks it in her stereo, and it's 99 left below. And she she sees the looks on your faces and just dances even more just to annoy both of you. And then pulls you both into this awkward. Uh, No, no, please, no. You're gonna dance. You're gonna dance. (sighs) I'm your sire, I command you. (laughs) Fine. And then I just <laughs> and it's a few minutes of awkward dancing. It's like until that you stop and have you guys. Eaten? I just very genuinely try to enjoy it with her. Try to get her mind off whatever she's going through. You know. actually that was a weird night she says Mm. I like stroke her hair um tentatively oh that feels nice and then you stroke her hair it's this long little bit wavy mass and your your fingers get caught in it and she's like ah 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 I like gently try to untangle my fingers. Like, you know, there's there's product we can use and product we don't have to use. We don't need to use so much hairspray. I don't, I'm not wearing any hairspray. Oh. Well, mm. Yes. Quite a night. <laughs> this is this is a no hairspray household. Really? I could have sworn I heard the spritzing of hairspray bottles in your room so much. Mm. It's spray paint. Oh. Fine. You got me. Yeah, that 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 mess is a little too perfect for <laughs> to be natural. Unlike my mess, which is a little too messy to be anything. No. Uh, it's you yeah. are Go on. Ch- you are her childer. I say to Soma. The sun begins to rise, and you all start to get sleepy. Mm. Goyo, I assume you still live with your sire at this point, or where, where would you, what would be? Yes, living? yeah, I'm I'm still living uh, with my sire. Um, when I get back, I just I uh, tell her what happened, but um, all throughout, I'm kind of uh, jittery and. Uh, uh, it's it's difficult to get words out properly. Uh, uh, you, 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 stood, you, you, you stood up to Enrique Escolar? I hate that guy. And then she hugs you. Congratulations. Thank you, Ma. Have you... Have you ever heard the Baroness get mad? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot. Have, you've never seen her in battle. She is a formidable warrior. Well, let's not get on her bad side then. Mm-hmm. Teeny tiny girl, very strong hands. Also yeah. very fast. It's not fair. <laughs> well, we got to meet up with the others tomorrow night. They're going to accompany us 
You know, they said it was a kind of a punishment for Victoria, but it feels like a punishment for me. Oh no. Your Victoria's coming? Yeah, that that's that's her name, right? That's what they were that's what they were calling her. I mean the uh the wild child. I do get why she's being all cuckoo 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 right now. She didn't really get a fair deal when she joined up. Really? What do you know? Well, about? I don't know why, but when she arrived here and joined the court, the Baroness sort of hid her away, refused to let her go out in public for like decades. Gave her new identities, of course, but wouldn't let her go out at all. And only recently, like maybe 10 years ago, was Victoria allowed to, you know, venture out into the world, live on her own, live on her own terms. Well, I guess that I understand. Still, she doesn't seem, uh, she doesn't seem like an agreeable person. What Ventru is, really? Oh, well, I'm at two tonight and I don't like either of them, so. <sighs> so what was it like in the court? Oh, God, I, I hate speaking in public like that. It's so uh, not me. You know, it's never been. But uh, it was very uh, colorful. She's making a face. Yeah. Uh, wonk, wonk. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you're not going to like this. What? The Baroness has kind of asked if... If... I could send a Malkavian representative. Just representing what we do. And to join a special committee that she's forming and I kind of you know recommended you me yeah you uh, you do an excellent job uh, uh, none of your other child were available like Elizabeth is right there she, she's living in I don't know where is she living now Pasig She's doing good work. Uh, come on. Yeah, I think it would be a better fit for you. Elizabeth is... Elizabeth. Okay, fine. But... I mean, if it, if it means I have to deal with those guys again... You will have to. I have to. I'm sure the job comes with perks. Come on, Ma. I mean, you know, lots of cute vampires in the court. Kindred. Damn. I should punish myself for making that slur saying that slur well what we know more? it's only the ventrues who really care about it <sighs> okay okay fine fine all right i'll i'll deal with them i'll deal with them because i have and i can <sighs> cool 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 that's rad is that what the kids were saying these days? Rad. Uh, it's a gas. Sure. Uh, uh, sure, mom. Yeah. 
let's let's uh let's go to sleep. I'm I'm exhausted. Okay. And she puts on a CD of the weirdest freeform jazz music ever. It's you hear it's almost a, like a dude pounding on a piano and going. Well, at least I know what it sounds like in her head. <laughs> okay. The next evening, I'd like everyone to roll a rouse check again. Nice. Fucking amazing! <laughs> this is why Danger is having a hard time making me feed. <laughs> yeah, everyone's rolling so well all the time. <sighs> Who hasn't rolled? <sighs> Has anyone not rolled? I've rolled. Wait, so me too. Yeah, yeah, I got and no. This was yeah. I got I got one success. Enrique as well. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hunger. Next is so the here's how this meeting will go. Goya and his sire, and the rest of the coterie will meet at the Baroness's office, where the Baroness will. Uh, brief you on what needs to be done. But Enrique is also headed there at the moment to empty out his things. Am I getting picked up or? You are getting picked up this time. So you won't be late. (laughs) I would assume that the blood is now out of your system. The At least the the, the intoxicating effects just a little bit things are a little awkward as Enrique gets there what are the you Baroness doing? Im- immediately shuts herself in her office as Enrique empties out his own um, am I here? I'm, I'm yeah. there right I'm there You're too there. and th- this uh Goya Sai goes, Enrique, and then walks away. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then I go I go to Enrique's office, actually. Soma. What, what are you doing here? here? Soma? I don't know. Um, pitching a tent, camping out for the evening. What the fuck do you think? <laughs> what happened last night? Enrique looks him up and down. Yeah, what happened? Nothing. Wait, is Victoria there too? Yeah. yeah. I'm just like. He ignores Victoria. Francie? Yes. It... He's just looking up and down at Soma. He then looks at you in the eyes and he simply says, Nothing you have to be worried about. You know, she's she's trying to do some good. You know that, right? Better than anyone. Why? Look, I... I know I don't like you, right? I, I think... I've made that perfectly clear before. You're going to hate me. But I mean, I mean, breakups happen. And I know what it's like to be on the other side. So, I mean, I mean, I I don't like you, but, but I don't hate you. Hey, kid, kid. What's his name? Soma. Soma. Who the hell? Who is this? This is uh, Victoria, apparently. 
I'm just pulling Soma away, like grabbing his Wait. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The adults are talking. Wow. Lick. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm older than him. <laughs> you don't act like it. Yeah, don't really act like it. Victoria, I, please look. just let me. I, I, I really need to. Really? You look. want to talk to him? And then I point at Enrique. You know, nobody likes him, right? And there's a reason for that. I just... Let me. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I know what it's like to be on the other side. And... I assume... I assume that... I don't know. Like, you, you probably still have... Some emotion left. I, uh, I, I didn't mean any. Uh, this. I'm sorry. I'm just. What I'm trying to say is. I understand, and I'm. Yeah, <sighs> I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, honestly. But you're. We don't have to be enemies, is what I'm trying to say. Do the rest of us like see yeah, or we're, notice we're, any of this? I Are am, we there? Or I am trying to eavesdrop. <laughs> I, I have put strategically positioned myself in line of sight of their lips, and I am stri I have roused the blood to my wits to to try and get a better if if you hear can, of if you it. If you actively try to listen for it, you'll hear mm. what they're talking about. I mean, trying to talk humanity some sense into somebody with zero humanity Look, kid. left, like Enrique. So. Things don't always go the way we plan it. As he kind of, you see Enrique kind of putting stuff away in like this little crate of his stuff, like mm. random shit. Some things for sure. You kids have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Then how, how do you expect to survive with such me weak way of thinking? Well, I've been alive this long as a human. You're going to learn a lot more. I promise you that. This whole kindred thing. You'll see. Give it a few years. A decade or so. Maybe more. You'll have no use for those feelings. Don't don't listen to him, Soma. He's just a grumpy old man. This Victoria. Girl, yes, Mr. Escolar. Your hair <laughs> is a mess. You clothe you, you dress yourself. I'm sorry. Like you haven't showered in a week. It's called fashion. Your Something fashion that you need reeks. to know. <laughs> fashion reeks of alcohol and marijuana. You hear Fra you hear Andre laughing in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Does Enrique know she's been true, or no? Yes. Mm. Oh, okay. <clears throat> he approaches you along with his crate as he kind of looks you up and down. He gets uncomfortably close, kind of pushing the the crate against your uh, your body as he studies you in that moment. As he says, "You are a venture, yeah." I guess so. You sure don't act like it. I don't really care to act like it. You bring disgrace upon the blue buds. Blue buds, blue bud. Oh, old way of thinking, old man. Such a... <laughs> it's kept us alive for years. Huh? Look where it's got it's you. Us... As I'm like trying to push the freight away, stepping back. With an eyebrow raise, he says. I'm exactly where I need to be. Being kicked out? 
it's freaked out isn't the right word for it. I'm pretty sure that's what happened last night, so... No, what's the word? Forcefully... Forced to resign? Four of you have a lot to learn. A lot more. Positions change, but the power remains the same. You'll see. Mm. Give it time. I'm sure one of you will end up in torpor at some point. Sure, one of you sure. will end up eating another kindred. Mm. Lose a bit of your humanity. It's cute, really. How all of you think you know everything. Yeah, this is what happens when you grow old. So Soma, don't listen to him. We have our own new way of thinking. I feel that Soma here will be the most rational, or the most rational in, in this little group. Along with that Malkavian. The crazy person? Was that me or is that a compliment? <laughs> Victoria. Though they might be crazy, they're loony, and downright unstable. They've been seers in the past, advisors to the princes, advisors to the barons. I don't you would do really well if you that. listened to the truth within their jumbled up words. Victoria. Yeah, no, no, thank you. That's too so much off work. The ribbons off of her hair. Hey! Oh. oh, no, you didn't. Oh. You will act accordingly. You are now in the Baroness's domain. And you are now in her care. How is it that he, and he gestures at Soma, has more etiquette than you? Hey, I'm right here. Well, I, uh, 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 I guess this I, uh, is between you two. And then I just walk away. I, uh, I, I can hear this, right? I can see this happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just I step in between them and I um, turn to Enrique and I go, Mr. Escolar, if you will excuse us, we have a briefing to get started. I'm sure you'll understand. I was on my way out uh, with that Bruja fledgling stopped me. Don't keep me, or don't let me keep you from your precious meeting. Don't trip on your way out. I honestly feel sorry for him. I whisper for I whisper to uh, to Goyo as he comes back. Don't. <laughs> yeah, don't. I don't know, like... Don't, like, I, I, I'm pretty sure, like, you're a new kid, but that guy, you shouldn't feel sorry for him. Well, thank you all for that entertaining turn of events. Yes, Let's... um... And Andrea, was it? Andrea Bell? Is that correct? Andrea, Andrea Bell, Andrea Bell. Which one? Either. Tell me what you wish. All right. Okay. Um, well, uh, Soma and uh, Andrea and Victoria. Um, so our rendezvous will be with uh, some uh, creatures um, of uh, common in the Philippine lore. Mm. Um, though they may have many varying uh, shapes and appearances, they are all, in essence, fey creatures, uh, grew, grown and um, born and uh, transformed in their own special ways because of the uh, special magics here in the uh, in the Philippine lands. It's it's really quite uh, fascinating. And uh, if you'd like, I can go further into detail about it. But um, do we have a thesaurus? No, don't, don't ask. Don't. Sorry. What kind of creatures don't will we be meeting? <laughs> Oh my it's god, on. what did you do? It's, I it's leave this to go, yeah. strategically important for us to know who we are going to be meeting. Oh yeah, I listened to and him talk for five hours straight, okay. How far is it? We can talk in the car. It's about three oh. hours. It's a three hour drive. 
okay. Um, well, I suppose we can talk in the car. Um, Ma, do you have anything? Do you have anything that you'd uh, like them to know before we make our way there? Hi, Ma. Sorry, this is my sire. Um, yeah, I've met her. Before. We call her Ma. It's uh, nice to meet it's you, I guess. Cool again. Hi. Hi. Is, uh, is there anything they again, need to Ma? know? Or should we uh, make our way into the car? The Baroness instructs you all to comport yourselves accordingly, uh, properly, and befitting the respect of, befitting the honor of her office, since you will represent it. And she darts a glance directly at Victoria. Uh. The honor befitting of befitting my office. I have to. I don't really have. Yeah. Clothes. Does she have to? Yes, I would like to reiterate that. Does she have to? I mean, Wait. it'll take time. She will not learn. She will not learn uh, the complexities of ruling if she does not practice. Why do I have to learn it? Uh, Hi, Victoria. Uh, let's um. Conversation for let's another fix time, that. Victoria. Let's fix that outfit and the makeup. Yeah. What's what's wrong with what's so wrong with it, goody two shoes? Oh, we're expecting company. I'm fine. We have to look presentable. Jeez, sorry. Like my... this... The Baroness actually does this face and like. I don't think they mind, no. but if you yeah. will help. I mean, no, Baroness, please. No, if it, if it will get you behaved. Yeah, let's do it. Let's put you in the, the clothes. Let's put you in good clothes. Come on. Let's wa wash your face. We're doing over your makeup. I hate these kinds of scenes. Mm, I, I really can, can I please not? I promise then, to behave myself. And then I nudge Goya. I'm like, oh, these makeover scenes are like the worst. Uh, you get used to Toriadors. Oh, uh, <laughs> great. Mm. I mean, what's what's the what's her deal anyway? Like. Why is she here, even? Honestly, I don't know. But based on what I know from the Baroness, she's very uh, compassionate, always willing to take in people who who need help. Perhaps she needed help. Fine. Fine. But I mean, I... I mean, you're pretty cool, so I don't have to worry about you anyway. Thank you. You see, in the corner, Ma is just frustrated with her CD, with her Walkman. Just. You need some help with that. It's skipping. It's skipping. Let me. And she's uh, just. She's staking it with an inhuman level of speed. It's like. Actually, uh, go up to her and like maybe I can uh, help you out with that. Um, since uh, I, I'm, this is actually my current time. Uh, I was recently embraced. Sure. Uh, Does she anybody? Had, she hands you the Walkman, which is clearly dead. She oh. Has been, like not functioning whatsoever. Like she's just lit. she has the headphones on. The wires are like taped together the wrong way. They've, it's like they've been snipped and then they, she taped them together. But oh. instead of taping them together like this, she taped them like this. And the whole thing is just broken. And this is a little weird for you. Um, uh, I, uh, d d it's okay, Soma. D just just uh, give it back to her. She'll, she'll know what to do with it. Does, any does anybody have a pencil? I'm not sure pencil's gonna do anything. It's a. Oh, no, you're there. Franzi has Come a in. pencil. 
Uh, Andre has a pencil. I hope. That's I up to you, and then I walk away. <laughs> and then I walk away. It's like, uh, and you and you hear her humming the, the soundtrack of Greece, the nothing. Baby, shake up, cause I need a man. That- Come on, Soma. Let's let's go wait in the car. See, isn't that better? Greece. Yeah. Hi. Uh, uh, and she yells like there's sound in the headphones. I love Greece. The ending sucks though. I mean, seriously, Sandy changes herself. What is this, 1880? <laughs> and then you know, your, uh, your sire is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I was really lucky to, you know, to be found by her. I mean, you know, most uh, most Malkavians they uh, they they say uh, they say Malkavians are crazy, you know. <laughs> but uh, she's she's just cool, you know. She's uh, all of us, all of us, all of her progeny. We're not crazy. Mm. None of us are crazy. That's that's great, you know. Honestly, I think crazy is a misnomer. If anything, you guys are pretty much just like hippies. Then I walk away. I enter at that scene. Yeah. I think we're a little crazy. You know, just a little, just the perfect amount, but not like crazy, crazy. Ma, sometimes you do act a little bit too crazy no you start muttering to yourself and going <laughs> making these little sounds yeah yeah she yeah. hasn't formed a, a word it sounds like a sentence but no no actual word has been formed in the last few minutes the last few for sounds like i think hmm. yeah i think she makes a uh uh, anyway, what I'm trying to say this. is like, yeah. I hate this. First of all, whose freaking vest is this that is so tight? It's like I'm wearing a corset. Does that belong oh. to the Baroness? She had some in her oh. wardrobe. Mm. The Baroness's outfit is too tight on me. She's too tiny. I mean, we're about the same height, but she's. You know, she doesn't have this. At least it's not leather. Yeah, at least it's not leather. It's fine. It's fine. Do I look presentable enough for your? You look. You look. Yes, you look. You look great. You have a lot of. You have a lot of potential. You could be a model. Wow. Maybe in the future. Yeah, um All right. can we go? If, if, yeah, if if we're done if with we're, the makeup if we're done with the makeover for, montage, let's go. It's now time for the three hour drive to the edge of Metro Manila. Oh the south side. That's the that's why it takes so long. No uh, Skyway yet. No Slex yet, I think. Yeah. So it's oh. gonna take a while. <sighs> and uh none of the highways are in place. And um, hmm. one thing you might notice about Metro Manila now, in, in during this time, is a lot of the cities haven't really popped up. It's still a lot of wilderness, surprising amount of wilderness outside of the Manila proper, outside of Quezon City, even. Yeah. And it's a long, winding drive on dark roads. And Goyo. Talking about mythological creatures. Ah. So, what kind of creatures are we meeting? Why? Well, you ask? aside from the aside from the uh, group of uh, Tikbalans, um, who were among the first to uh, to make their way over here to, to kind of build relations, um, I I understand that the, we also have some uh, Diwatas showing up. Um, there will be oh the, the, they're beautiful. What are Diwatas? Uh, oh, they're beautiful. Is Maria McKeeling real? 
Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, one of the uh, one of the great great ancestors of the Diwata. I mean, I'm not sure where she is now. I've never seen her, but her and all of these nature spirits, they 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 come around and they, they just oh, they, they they just make everything beautiful. They they make themselves beautiful. They make nature Oh, they, it's it's so wonderful, mm-hmm. and they just they're so peaceful with people who who respect nature. Respect if, nature. Maybe know, if, if I they... should try and sleep with one of this. How many how many um, kinds of creatures are uh, there? I mean, I wouldn't recommend sleeping with them because you then you'd have to go to their kingdom, and then you'd never be allowed to leave. Really? I mean, are oh, there God. any any that lives here? No, no. Just also don't eat the food. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> if I can eat the food. Don't eat the food. Victoria, I'm pretty sure there are a bunch of other kind or well humans who are uh, attractive enough. I guess. Humans can get a bit boring. Okay, so respect nature and um the tabi tabi po thing. Is that real? Oh, what yes, does absolutely. it mean? Um, please stop. Uh, please excuse me. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, basically, well, basically, you're Thank asking you. for permission. You know, that's 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 key in 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 these these Fey societies. You have to ask permission before stepping somewhere, before before getting something, before asking for anything. It's so I would important. never so ask them. permission. Why would I ask permission? Why would you do that? Because the difference between asking permission in actual society and asking permission in a society like theirs is that in our society, there are a lot of people who take things without um, actually asking. Like, for example, um, colonizers, they took a lot of things from us, but they didn't ask permission. But unlike them, they're just like, uh, everybody's like free love and all that shit. So I guess it's a good idea to be nice to them. That's a lot of words for someone who learned about Tikbalings yesterday. Shut the fuck up, goody two shoes. Hey, s- oh, you guys are giving me a headache. Are you still headache? hungover? Seriously? A headache? That's so, curious. Yeah. When does one say tabi tabi po? When you notice uh, there is a mound, like uh, a, a, a dirt pile. It, it just looks like a regular dirt pile. Sometimes it might look like an anthill, but usually that's where a duende or a what some may call a nuno sapunso would be, which are basi- basically just small fey creature. Uh, they live in the ground. Um, usually that's where you'll be able to tell if you're about to step on their territory. So you gotta you, you gotta be careful. You gotta watch out and you gotta say nabi nabi po before you step on even near that. So you don't end up. Victoria. He won't stop. It's been how many hours and he's still talking? How about this? How about this, Victoria? If you behave yourself, we can party. Wow, really, night. kid? You're telling me? Come on, have you ever I'll been in a mosh pit? I look like somebody. Well, no, I would try it. Yeah. I've been in a mosh pit. I tried. Yeah, Ooh. see? I drank three people in a mosh pit. <laughs> oh, you can! Oh, let's try that. I'm, I I'm up for they that. They didn't die, but uh, I'm up for yeah. that. Can you huh? drink? Can Can you drink the aswang, the the fey? No, without their permission. Uh, With their permission? Um, you can. I mean, is is it generally a thing With we can permission. do? Is it? With their permission, maybe. Without their permission, uh, Good I don't luck. know. Try it. Try it. See what Has happens. Has anyone nah, tried it? Nah, I wouldn't nah, try it. I wanna nah, try it. I would not recommend it. No, 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 no. I would not recommend I, I wanna it. try it. I mean, if um, there's a heartbroken, of course. Are there any heartbroken? Can they even feel love? Is that your they, thing? They do get heartbroken. What? Wait, wait. What? What? What thing? Heartbroken. Um, okay, so you're new, oh, so you wouldn't yeah. know this, but Ventru, uh, they can. They 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 come with a preference. They when when someone is turned into a venture, they can only drink. Well, they can drink other types of blood, but when they can, they would be weakened by drinking any other type of blood than their preference. And I'm guessing Victorious is heartbroken people. You'll see a lot of that in a punk Very show. Very vulnerable. Oh. Always need comfort, uh, and I'm always there to provide comfort, of course. 
that's nice because Filipinos are constantly heartbroken by mm. by a lot of things, love, government, stuff like that. You know. That's why I never run out of sores. <sighs> that's nice. Oh, I, I don't imagine. Trust me, I wish I always had sores. <laughs> you finally oh, arrive after Goyo talking for three hours about that. Uh, oh. Magical creatures. Okay, nice. And is there no summary of this? Well, there are several books. Ah. And mm. finally, you are you are in, uh, instructed to walk towards a clearing. The, 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 Ma is leading the way to the clearing. You notice there are tree stumps. With mushrooms growing on them. I'm using Sense the Unseen the entire time. Okay, so is Ma, by the way. And is anybody else using any supernatural sensory powers? Nope. Okay. You Not see a lot of this time. eyes peeking through the forest, just like glowing eyes everywhere. And just Look at them, okay. They're curious Look at about them. you. And then, and they're like, darting. See, they're a bit crazy that way, Soma. I'm not crazy. So what the fuck are you doing? Here to uh, explain? You, you really have to stop saying the C word, you know that? <sighs> then. There. Demented, there we go. That's even worse. <laughs> that is worse. Oh. Uh, I and assume Luffy. that the Malkavians are using their supernatural abilities to. Mm, Would be nice if they see share. what is hidden. Oh, I'm not strong enough to do that yet. Um, when you sit down on the stumps. Is this where we have to say it? Royo? Yeah. No. Say what? Yes. What? Tabi tabi po. Tabi tabi po. Tabi tabi po. Did I say that right? That works. That works. Uh, Bohako emerges from the darkness again and sits on his stump. A oh, tall hello. Diwata emerges from the darkness, hovering ever so slightly over the ground, seven feet tall. And wow. sits on, and as this Diwata sits, the stump grows to meet her bottom. You didn't tell me that so the Diwatas rare. are face. I literally said fake creatures. You, you, like, I just heard Diwata, and I'm like, what? The, what is a Diwata? I said fake creature many times throughout that three hours but clearly there were it many things like that you were blocking out, out. Okay. if you keep on if anyway. you keep on talking we won't get those heartbroken punks it's, it's so rare to see one of your kind and thank you for gracing finally, us with your presence visibly in the trees you see a large figure over 20 feet oh. tall sitting in the tree oh my God. and you see a giant cigar glowing what the? As a bit of ash. They're not joining oh. us. I don't like jointly. this guy. I assume they won't be taking a stump then. Oh, what I don't are like they? this guy. What are they? Uh, fascinating. What? What is? What are they? I'll have what he's that, having. That is a capre, a giant, who smokes cigars capre? in the trees. Capre. Yes, it's it's ash is if if it's ash lands on you then you'll be lost in the forest forever it's really quite fascinating yeah keep, keep to yourself soma don't, don't go near <laughs> unless you want like to live this. in the forest perhaps you should the smoke uh surrounds the in, surrounds the clearing and you do and those who can sense the unseen <coughs> know that they are glamoring you so that no prying eyes or eavesdropping ears can can detect any of you at this particular moment. 
But Iwata looks ele- elegant in her long white gown and her crown of golden leaves and, and twigs. And she looks at all of you and says, good evening, without moving her lips. You just hear it in multiple voices. All women speaking, good evening. And Bohak Good goes, evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good, good evening. What's up? And then and, and, and the Tikbalam just flicks the ash and it, and he's got like a little ash tray. Oh. I am Andrea Bell. These are you Victoria. Should not introduce us. Excuse me, newcomer. Hello. My name is Victoria. Turn towards Goyo. I am Gregorio. You can call me Goyo. Um, I'm Soma, and that's a neat looking cigar there. Um, yeah. Uh, hi. Don't, don't touch it. How about you? Whoa. Uh, and then I, I wave am, to uh, oh sorry sorry um, I am I am Queen Gita of the Divata you have met Bohako your you acquaintance have, and over there she points upward is Lorco it is very nice to meet you all. So, Peace and love. what say your Baroness about our pleas? The Baroness has welcomed um, the Tikbalang and. I try to remember. Did she say anything about the rest of the magical creatures? All of the creatures are welcome in the Baroness's domain to live in peace. As long as they keep the peace. As long as you keep the peace. I hope you understand. Of course. We have no wish to participate in any conflict. And we understand favors are also currency among your kind. That is correct. Mm -hmm. The Aswang would owe you all a great debt. But if you welcomed us again. uh, Absolutely. Bohako speaks too. But I am concerned about those who would resist our entry. How well can your Baroness control any resistant kindred? We will take care of them. Um, we will. We will take care. We will take sure. care of them. You do not have to worry because the Baroness's control over the court is ironclad. Um, As Mr. Bahako, if I may. As Bahako would have witnessed... The Baroness is mm, committed to her stance on welcoming your people and is willing to um, take disciplinary actions against any kindred who would oppose it. Not to mention very capable of enacting the discipline herself. Mm. You hear the copper go. Mm. It is a low, rumbling growl. Not a growl, but it seems to be communication of some sort. Mm. You feel it. The you feel the bass deep into your bodies. Like everything is vibrating when the when the copper growls and hums like a 
the earth almost rumbles and somehow you understand what the Capra is saying and how would your Baroness deal with any errant kindred you could ask Bahako how she dealt with it at the last court procession Uh, Bohaka turns to Lorco and says she expelled her sheriff when he, he spoke out of turn against our kind from her court. <laughs> her concern What is being done to pursue the madam who has so brazenly offended my people? I assure you, we are hunting them down with all our resources, all available resources. If anything, we hate her just as much or possibly even more than you do I mean she's one of our kind she's giving us a bad name out there and the and the words are but this one has a secret and he flicks the cigar and you know exactly who he means when he who Lorco means when he does it it's Franzi who's sort of surrounded by Andre. a faint aura of smoke uh, Andre who's surrounded by a faint aura of smoke I smell the madam on you I was unfortunate enough to have mm, been in close contact with the madam to have been in direct contact and I know that she is a terrible tyrant and it's good that she is out of the country. We've... The Baroness has done much to dispel her. And... I joined the Baroness because I wanted to see the Madam dispelled. And because I much prefer that the ma that the baroness's form of rule of equality inclusion welcoming those who have been here before over that of the madams hmm. but how can we be assured that you will not stray that you will not betray us. If I may s say something. Go ahead. Look. Of Tala. Look, I don't... I don't trust this person. But... My sire does. And... It's not... My place to go against her wishes. And I believe that if she wants to help you, it's a good idea to trust her decision to take this one in. I think at this point, we're all, we all hate the madam. And if she, if she does stray, 
from her path and run back to the madam, I'm pretty sure the Baroness will take care of it. Not until I do it first. <laughs> Me too. Well, I don't know about Soma here, but... Bohako has witnessed the Baroness's strength and speed. I... Um... It's far more than anything I could show. So... I don't think Can you'll I have try a problem. To read Though Andre, I do give you my assurance when they talk about, that I am committed uh, the madam. to the anarch Particularly movement. Particularly that part where to they say Baroness that, Tala um, and in close the contact. See, how, see if I can discern if they're the, lying. Um, a swung of the Philippines. Insight? Wits and insight? Sure. Okay, go ahead. I would be... Yeah, Wits Insight. Or Intelligence Insight, whichever is higher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's certainly a much different aura, Miss Victoria. Next time you speak out of your turn, newcomer, I'm not gonna forgive it. Oh, I got the substances out of my system. Okay, that's five successes. That's a lot. Mm. The close mm. contact is a lot closer than Andre is letting on. And it is a connection that makes Andre feel that flutter of deep shame that you sense, that you detect. Not just shame, but fear. It's just a complicated relationship. And you've seen it before. You've seen this feeling before in many, in many kindred who have complicated relationships with their sires. Lorco, again with his deep rumble. Mm. It seems we have no choice. It seems we must trust each other. I know the Baroness would not send you, Andre, without being certain of your allegiance. Indeed. If I may. You can trust me personally that if they were to uh, stray from their path, uh, from their promise here, then I will personally make sure that they pay for it. What do you mean they? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much on board with this. I'm, I think Victoria's... I mean, Andre. Can we, like, not oh. talk out of topic please go back to topic i am, I am on topic and i'm talking I to was saying i was simply saying the the four of us can keep each other in check and i am reassuring you once again i am reassuring you once again that i will personally make sure that none of these people in front of you will mess things up between this alliance. Is everyone satisfied? This is Bohako talking. I am. I am. 
then the accord shall be struck. Queen Vita rests her palms out and out appears a contract from thin, thin air. And she produces a twig from the earth, pricks her own pricks her own palm and signs her name with it in ancient runes that you cannot recognize. The, the Capre reaches forth and presses the burning end of his of his cigar on the contract. And after he pulls it away, the runes are left in its absence, burned into it. And Bohako takes out a pen. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? You have this like fancy. Where did you get the pen, though? What? It's useful. It's cheap. Yeah. It was like you don't have free... any like magical things, do? Mm-hmm. Did you see what he did yesterday? I mean, I can the, the word. I can't really make it rain on this contract. <laughs> You know, but please go want. on. Go on. What happened to not speaking out of turn, Victoria? I nudge her just like a the sibling nudge. No. <laughs> Practice what you preach, sis. Uh, kid. I and and they roll up the contract. Deliver this to your baroness. Um very well. It floats. Uh, into your hands and lands on on Andre's palms. It feels brimming with energy, magic, like you've never felt before. Mm. And you notice that the the capre has is stepping down from the tree. And you, you, you hear his gigantic feet boom as they land on the earth. And he inhales the smoke back into his lungs. The smoke that has glamoured you all into hiding. The Tikbalang raises his hand and the clouds part from the sky. The, 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 part from the sky revealing the moon again. And the Diwata opens a gate behind herself and falls back into it. The tree that she sat on, the stump that she sat on, grows fully into the tree again. This has been lovely. And Did uh, any? the Capre disappears oh, as it man, climbs the tree. I was going to try and get his number. Like it was never it's there. Um, did any of us eat those mushrooms on the way in? No. Please don't tell me you didn't no. eat anything. No, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't eat anything. And Bohako, you, you just hear the na- the whinnying of a horse, <laughs> and the clop of of the hooves. And- the great speed of the Tikbala running through, running through the great open fields, disappearing into the night. As light lightning strikes, where lightning strikes Bohako and he t- vanishes. Damn. Fancy magic. Some ACDC shit. I don't know Philippine thing. Yeah, you notice, you, Andre, you should really. You, know, you notice Andre can't let go of the contract, like. You like, can't. You, can, you really can't, can't open your. You, you can't. You're stuck to it until like you. Really? You're, like seriously? You can't really open your hand. Seems like something that they can do. Matt, come on, car. Just, just. Um, just go to the car. car. Yeah, let's go. Let's 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 get out of here. I mean, I mean God, this is kind of creepy. Just... So uh, once we're in the car, once we're in the car, and we're seated. I take a good look at Andre. 
So, what's the deal? What's going on here? Andre, uh, every time you speak, your last words must be, I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. Oh, God. You have to say that after the end of every statement. You're muted. You're muted, by the way. Muted. 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 You're muted. You're muted. Oh, shit. Is this a conversation we need to be having right now? I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. Yeah, kind of. This is entertaining. Why are you saying I must deliver to the Baroness? I don't know. I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. Oh, this is entertaining. What's going on here? The fairies have a very strange magic. But Yeah, answer his question. I saw the way, I saw the way you were talking about the madam. There's something that you're not telling us. We all have our secrets. Perhaps I'll tell you in time. But for now, it's enough to know that the Baroness mm, is not... Uh, the Baroness knows about whatever the Capre saw, and the Baroness has entrusted me to enter this treaty. I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. I was just waiting for that. What's your name? <laughs> and what's your full name? Sorry. Andrea Bell. I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. <laughs> and how? Wait. what year were you turned? 1977, I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. Okay, answer <laughs> one simple question. Just... Were you in her court? Were you a member of her court? Yes, I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. What's your clan? Is it not obvious? I, I must deliver know. this contract to the Baroness. Wait, what's 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 the uh, uh, Goya? Is Toriador? Toriador? Their, Question mark? Yeah, because you know, no, a I'm, lot I'm, of I'm, other ventures does dress yeah. up. Like I that. am a Toriador. I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. Okay, so Toriadors are like really notorious for having fashion statements or being fashionable. Statistic is actually the term. And like, uh, I, I, I know a few artists who are Toreadors. Like, everyone who has the, the drive to create is a Toreador. Yeah. Artist. Ooh. So, what do you have to do again? I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. <laughs> oh my uh, god, the first time I, 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 I interacted with a Duende. Uh, they gave me hives. I'm a kindred. Oh. I was a kindred with hives. Ma, <laughs> oh, that's so sad. It was fun. Fun. I mean, I mean it I would have hives. asphyxiated any normal human, but it was nice to feel, you know, sick again for once. Oh. The Malkavian have a fascinating way of thinking. I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. Wait, I have a question, actually. Um... Do we have to? Uh, what's with the they thing? I don't really get it. Well, you don't know my. That's when you don't know someone's gender. You use they. Um, I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. I mean, well, that's interesting because, like, uh... can can you tell if they're if they're a boy or a girl? Because, like, I'm having a hard time. And I can see spirits. Who cares? Who cares about gender? Jeez. Yes. It's a primitive human holdover. You no, really I... need to... We don't even reproduce. I I'm must a... deliver this contract to the Baroness. You really need to get out more, Malkavian. Speaking of which, Selma, have you gone out since you've been embraced? I mean, if we deliver the contract to the Baroness, uh, I, th I think I might have some time. You're welcome to join me anytime. 
I'm gonna show you around oh, God. some of the kindred dives. You know what? I'm game. You guys want to come with? Uh, yes. Uh, no. I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. <laughs> I mean, this is our first, like, com complete mission. And, like, I'm only a few days embraced. I think, you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty excited. Uh, Andre, yeah, you would not we... be able to let go of that thing. Uh, like, once... Until you Once the I complete... The, my mission, I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We, we will we will deliver it first, and then we will celebrate Soma's first successful mission. Sure. Sure. Why not? And yes. by release from this curse, I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. Suddenly, you're lucky that's all they cursed you with. Suddenly, you start here... You notice that the your sire is in the middle of a vision all of a sudden. But it's a weird one. She has her headphones on and the Walkman. Who's driving? I must uh, deliver driver. this contract to the Baroness. A, a driver's driving. Oh, so it's not RJ. Okay. It's not JR it's, either. It, it's, it's the late JR. It's uh, JR. You've yeah. never met him. He's like a old, ghoul. Old, old okay. And, uh, Kind of killed him last You notice time, so. that your sire is going rigid and somehow also singing a song that doesn't exist yet. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? It's like rain on a wedding <laughs> wedding day. See, this is what this is what I meant by crazy, Silma. They they have this like little vision crazy mind thing happening. Mm. And no, then, those are just weird lyrics. And then she's Stops and is like, whoa, that was weird. What did you see, Mom? Yeah, crazy. Ma, like I they said, gave crazy. us a gift. A gift? Who gave us a gift? The, 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 the magical creatures gave us a gift. Kind of the contract? What kind of gift is that? Is there any stipulation? <clears throat> uh, she takes off Andre's hat and there's a little vial on it and it po falls out and lands on Andre's lap and it's a little glass vial of what you gather is I pick it up What is it? Capric smoke dust Holy sh Now we really have to party tonight. Whole What even is this? What Goyo? does this do? I must do... return this contract to the Baroness. Goyo, Goyo, what does this roll, do? Can roll occult intelligence for this. What do I see when I like move it around? Uh when you take it, it disappears from your hands and it appears on top of Franzi's head again. Uh, Andre's head again. It's a gift for Andre for oh. bearing for bearing the contract. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a ridiculous sight. Uh, I wish we could paint this cool thing. At three successes. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Reroll. You really look ridiculous. I'm sorry to say. Oh. Uh, do you want to mm -hmm. give them yeah, their hat back on? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it right, right? It's 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 them. It's a critical. It's a critical. That works. Yeah. I must okay. <laughs> uh, Ma puts the hat back on Andre's head with a vial under it. Yes, that's correct. I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. And Andre notices it pops up in their pocket instead of the ha under the hat. Okay. Uh, Goya's role tells him that this is a mighty gift to use in the most dire of circumstances. The ash, or more accurately, the bottle can be flung by the bearer to generate an effect. As Goyo mentioned before, 
if the ash is sprinkled on a human, they will be lost forever in the woods. For a kindred, it may confuse them. Depending on how powerful the kindred is, it might confuse them for a long or short time. And well. until uh, Franzi uses it, it will appear, uh, Andre uses it, it will appear on their person uh, if they need to. That's very, cool. very powerful gift. They're very generous. I, well. I assume Goyo has sh shared this information. Uh, more accurately, it will not make anyone disappear. Uh, but mm, you have no idea how effective it will be on a kindred. All you know is that a human will be lost forever. Kindred, mm -hmm. you're not sure. Well, I hope I never have need of this, but I'm glad I have it. In the event that I do, I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. I guess we have to be friends then. Uh, okay. What it really, Soma? Again, I wouldn't want to be friends is... with a Toriador. I would introduce you to the scene. The scene. That's a thing. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You have a lot to learn. I have no need for a scene. I mean... You are pretty young. And how... And then how will you feed? Yeah, how I must deliver feed? this contract to the Baroness. Actually... Hey, JR, um, can we pass by a fast food chain or something? Can we get pizza? Yes, let's get pizza. Oh. Uh, why? Why are we? Uh, no, don't ask you know questions. What? Just you know go. what? We but all have to go I through must... it once. Yeah. What are yeah, you talking about? But it's I must okay. It's deliver okay. this contract to the Baroness. <laughs> it's okay. It's talk... okay. Just, just, we'll be... get you pizza, Soma. Don't worry. Yeah, we all have to go through it once. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, Remember he's not going to believe it until he tries I it. Must I mean, I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. I'm, it's kind uh, of a rite of passage. It's it's okay. I'm, I'm, uh, okay. You're now at the pizza place, and you have been handed a box of pizza. Just one go. box, like. Uh, I'm, you guys. I have to watch my yeah, weight. So. Yeah, just to uh, you know. I mean, I I ate before we met up. <laughs> Andre has a, a a jacket sprawled over the contract. And has not spoken for fear of actually saying <laughs> the words. I must deliver. Why are you concept. guys looking at me weird? Not really. I don't know. i just interested. Like, how good is the pizza? I'm watching my weight, so I can't really eat. When you bite Remember into the what pizza, I it's... Said, I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. Yeah. It, with the senses of a kindred, you factory. notice that the pizza is more delicious now. But within... What are you talking the, about? It's so good! <laughs> but within moments, you start to feel a rumble in your stomach. And the rumble started to get painful. Jesus. Same. And you are forced to you run to the bathroom with inhuman speed, burst through the doors, break the locks, throw up blood in a toilet as the rest of the kindred are snickering. <laughs> oh, that is amusing to see. <laughs> This Not allowed awesome. to eat anymore. <laughs> Silly. Keep your voice down. You, oh my god! Don't break the masquerade. You That's another can, thing. You technically it's too can bad. Eat, but you have You're to. You're allergic the to pizza now, or whatever is in it. I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. Oh, you can't eat. Maybe there's garlic in that pizza. <laughs> That's why you can't eat it. <laughs> 
That's probably it. Hey. And then I like I rushed to the counter. I was like, did we did we order a garlic? We we didn't we ordered a. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I approached so much. No, no, no. Dragging no. back, like I'm sorry, he's a bit drunk. We're going back. No, what? Garlic's I'm not a thing. Fucking, it's garlic not a thing. thing. It's We're not thing. allergic to garlic or it's anything. A myth. It's a man. And uh, not anyone at our age. We anyway. we cannot process human food anymore. Like it, most of us can. Some of us can. Some of us can if we force the blood for the blush. We can eat and it for like an hour, but you, we have to throw throw up. After eventually. eventually and but and but okay. there are some kindred who can eat but they're also very rare yeah the ones with a huge high humanity or something like it's that like they're not even kindred anymore <laughs> which is it's, it's like a myth but a take it with a grain of salt but yeah you can't eat any more human food i'm so sorry do you wanna do you wanna try rousing the blood to form the br- blush of life what and see how mean? long you can keep it down under it, those circumstances. Uh, oh, watch this. Has the Baroness taught contract you Contract to the Baroness. Wa- wa- watch this. Uh, Ma sits back, shuts her eyes, and you notice a flush enters her cheeks and she starts... Kindred look pale in general, but yeah. suddenly she's not and she looks more human. And then she takes a slice of the pizza and goes... I can keep this down for about an hour, but then I'd still have to throw it up. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's like I'm bulimic. Yeah. Well, that sucks. I'm not. I'm not yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can still. You can all do that, but you, you can know. do it too. Just focus on your but skin. It's still hilarious. Focus, focus the vitae into your stomach and stuff like that, and you can. Eat. Oh my god. I mean I mean you can't digest anymore or poop and maybe you can drink some wine, but that's bad. Wine. Some wine. Just wine. Some wine. Some wine. It's it's <laughs> don't usually buy red those wine. Cheap I must stuff. Just red wine. Deliver this contract to the Baroness. <laughs> no, I think we should deliver that contract to the Baroness now. You sure you don't want any more of your pizza as I push the box towards Soma? Fuck you. And then I walk <laughs> out. <laughs> Everyone has to go through it. Yeah, if, it now is. if you'll excuse me, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> and you hear, in the, she enters the ladies room quite calmly, but you hear the a very inhuman <laughs> Squeal and everyone's just everyone in the restaurant's just <laughs> and then she comes out and say, like, "Oops, let's be on our way back." Then is it cursed if I I don't know who's who, which Dremir I got this glasses from? Am I gonna be cursed from this? Okay, um, the time passes and you finally reach the Baroness. And finally, I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. <laughs> finally, Andre's hands open and the contract rolls out. Try to speak, Andre. <sighs> well, we deliver. You no longer have the urge to say. I do that. not need any longer. To deliver the contract to the Baroness, I am free of this curse. I'm still waiting for it. No. It's not gonna happen, is it? It's not gonna happen. She has fulfilled her mission or something like that. It's not gonna happen anymore. And the Baroness. I must deliver this contract to the Baroness. No, I just thought (laughs) it. I just wanted to do that anyway. The Baroness signs the contract in her own blood. And the contract sort of vanishes. So it it catches a blaze, but nothing burns up. And Mm. then it 
vanishes into thin air. And you notice that a small tattoo has appeared on the Baroness's right arm right here. Just a small one. That's interesting. That is amazing. My hands. May I, uh, may I touch it, Baroness? Sure. No, oh, and... I'm okay with being creepy. Well, at least he asked permission. That's usually yeah, that the. That is true. I'm proud of I'm proud of you all for handling yourselves. Even you, Miss Party Girl. And um, especially you, Andre. I can imagine that that was quite an ordeal. But the Of fate, course I handled it well. The the Duatas, the Capras, and the other Fay never forget a favor. I trust their gift has manifested. Yes, this little vial of dust. Whether they want it to or not, it has manifested. Mm. Anyway, you have the rest of the night to yourselves. Yep, time to, to celebrate. Do. I um, and grab Soma. Wait, wait, I have one question. What is Why? It? Why didn't you tell me? I tell you what? Oh, no. Food! <laughs> oh. I thought you knew. You'd uh. never seen me eat. Um, honestly, and I was, wait I was waiting for you to ask me about it. Well, I found out tonight. Oh. <laughs> It was very and entertaining, Baroness. Ma starts snickering. Oh no! And, and and then Baroness goes, "Oh no! You you did the pizza thing again, didn't you?" I, so it's also I tried, pizza. I mean, I I tried to stop them, but I was clearly overruled. They always ask for pizza for some reason, Baroness. Uh, I tried to warn them. It's, it's always been pizza for twenty years. I know. I told him not to eat the pizza. It but it good. tasted so good. <laughs> so entertaining for me. Well, you guys enjoy your night. Yep, time to celebrate, Soma. Thank I you. imagine it is a montage of clubbing. And um me asking Soma, do you fight? Do you fight? Do you fight? I'm too sober. Well, I'm I mean, legit just sober. Look at you, you're so skinny. Do you even know how to fight? Do I even no, need don't to worry. Is a yes, question? yes, you are a bruja. You're gonna be a disgrace to the bruja if you don't know how to fight. If you want to, I can teach you how to because the Baroness did teach me some tricks here and there. We can spar. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Um that actually sounds like fun. That actually sounds like fun. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, you know, the, the uh, entire equality thing. I don't mind hitting a girl. I guess. <laughs> Gender doesn't okay. matter with kindred. You enjoy the rest of your evening, just going from club to club. Uh, Soma takes Victoria to that mosh pit, which is a little too rowdy for Andre and Goyo. Who, who just chat up in that corner who just you know talking to each other about how the day went and Goyo keeps asking about <clears throat> what it was like to be under that spell the night goes on and it closes down to almost sunrise before everyone goes home it's a new world for everyone and I think that's where we'll end tonight Jeez. Oh no, and the next oh episode will come back to Oh, it's uh, stress. I don't want stress. I don't even know if I can read oh at this point. I had fun. Anyway, 
This has been Midnight in Metro Manila, brought to you by the Dragon Forge and the Overlord. This has been Danger as the Storyteller. Follow me at, at Rights Danger on Twitter. And the rest of the cast, please introduce yourselves. I have been Andrea Bell, as played by Dandy. You can follow me at Drawn by Dandy on all social media. I am Gregorio, or Goyo, as played by Matt Gador. Um, you can follow me at Matt Gador on all social media as well. I am Soma, as played by Raf de los Reyes. You can follow me at raf.mp3 on Twitter and Instagram. Except for Twitter, you can't actually put a dot on it because, yeah, so it, you just spell it with a D-O-T. So, raf.mp3. Uh, I am Enrico. I'm Enrique Escolar. Uh, as played by Louis. Uh, you guys can find me at Crescent VTM on Twitter uh, and storytelling uh, on um, uh, Call of the Abyss, uh, another vampire in the Masquerade Chronicle on uh, Rena's channel. Yeah, and I am Victoria, played as played by Rena as usual. If you're if you're new to the channel, come check me out on Twitter. It's the Overlord or any social media. It's always the Overlord. And I really hope you guys enjoyed our flashback. Yeah, yeah. I really did. It. Yeah, it's not like we left you on a cliffhanger or anything, right? Yeah, <laughs> not like stress that would be building painful. up. <laughs> anyway, this has been Midnight in Metro Manila. Good night. Oh, before I forget. Which premiere did I get this from? <laughs> <laughs>